Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show some of the new features in the latest release of AppCode. First, let's look at new features and functionality for Swift-based projects. Starting with the 2016.2 release, AppCode is now showing warnings and errors directly in the code editor. And under the hood, it's using SourceKit, which comes bundled with Xcode. So here in this example, I have some intentional errors and you can see them highlighted depending on the severity in the scroll bar at the side. And if we option F1 on the error, we get the description and we could use F2 to jump between errors and then option enter to suggest the fix and again to apply the fix. Another option is to use command shift option I to get the inspections up, select source kit inspections and the name of the file or the whole project and then again, you can see a summary of the problems. Click the apply fix button. Everything will be fixed and you get a report of what was fixed and why. Here in the preferences under inspections, you can enable or disable the Swift inspection and also set the severity of problems you want to be warned about. You can also now find and correct potential spelling problems with inspections as well. So here we have a couple of spelling errors. Hover over the first one hit Alt and Enter, select what we want to do, find the corrected word and select it. And with words like names and company names that maybe aren't in the dictionary, instead we can select Add to Dictionary so it won't be highlighted as an error in the future. Correcting spelling errors also applies to function and variable names. But in this case, we would use Rename. In the Rename dialog, we hover over the typo, use Alt and Enter, and the same options are presented to us. And this will, of course, correct it across the board if it has been spelt incorrectly in multiple places. Swift functions and methods now have parameter placeholders. So in this example, I'm going to add a new item to the object. I open up the insert method and I can tab between these placeholder variables and just by typing, they get instantly replaced with the value that we replace them with. And the latest version of AppCode introduces introduce variable for Swift. So in this example, we have a uh, bar button set up for the UI and we need to create a variable from it. So we highlight the UI bar button, hit the option command V and a variable starts to be created automatically for us. We can decide whether we want to declare it with a var or a let and also specify the type in which we are in this case. And we can manually name it or let app code name it for us. And the feature is even more powerful. In this case, we're going to extract a variable from multiple instances. Using the same command, we can update all three current instances, get the new variable and have the same option. And we can see all instances have been updated with the new variable created. Live templates are similar to Xcode snippets, but allow for more interaction. Here I am using the function option. You just start typing function and then select from the list. An even cleverer one is the for in loop. If I start using the live template here, you'll notice that it actually picks up the objects from above and sets up the loop for me. And if you want to see what smart templates are available, you can use command and J and you'll see the list of currently available live templates and pick from the list. If you want to add new templates, open up preferences and in the live template section, you can see the current options here under each language type. Click the plus button to add new ones. We're going to add a new live template here with a description. Add in your template. In this case, it is a fairly standard print command. And as you can see, there are placeholders for the variable names. And the next step is to define the context of this live template by clicking the define link at the bottom. Next, we edit the variables that will be in this template. In our case, they are duplicates of each other. Just reorder them. And now we will find that our live template is available for use by just typing its name and we can fill in the variables as required. There have been many improvements to mixed projects that have a Swift and Objective-C code, especially with renaming and refactoring. So here, firstly, I'm going to split our project vertically and have an Objective-C and a Swift file open. Let's refactor label to label with color. And you can see that the corresponding function is renamed. Now I'm gonna add an annotation to the function and this will make the code in the Objective-C incorrect. 
but replacing this with label fixes that problem. So let's just try one other rename to new colored label and everything is back synchronized again. So let's just undo some of the changes, renaming back to label and removing the annotation for the next example. We add a sum color external parameter and can use apply fix to get the correct return statement. Now objective C now requires a method should be called label with some color and we can use control space and then tab to automatically fix that for us. So doing one further rename, AppCode takes into account the translation from Swift to Objective-C with the correct use of with and then the corresponding full method name. There are also several improvements to documentation in Objective-C code. These include auto-generation and completion, and these will be generated by delineating comments in any of the standard ways you can. So here is our method with parameters and return values. So in this first case, I will use forward slash asterisk asterisk and then hit enter. And here is our documentation for the method. We can also use forward slash asterisk explanation mark and get the same result. Or we can use three forward slashes and again, the same thing. Autocomplete and parameter lookups are also available in comments. And if you rename a parameter name, it gets renamed in comments and in the method and vice versa, of course. And finally, inside the preferences for the code styles, we can set whether the brief tag should be added by default or not when using the auto generation feature, which I'll demonstrate here by regenerating. And we can see there is the brief tag ready for a description by default. And finally, complete statement is also now available for Objective-C. So in this if statement, I start typing. We can then use Command, Shift and Enter to finish the skeleton of the if statement for us. Add in our logic check, use Command, Shift and Enter to jump into the if statement. And then as you can see here, we can use it in a variety of other contexts to finish semicolons, to close brackets, just reducing how many of those little things you have to keep typing. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoy the new updates to AppCode and please let us know if you have any questions or comments.